What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Long time since we've done one of these videos. We are going to do a brand new Pit Viper unboxing slash reveal because a lot has changed with Pit Vipers and we haven't kept you guys up to date with uh, kind of some of the newer glasses we've gotten. So we want to give some feedback to you guys so that when you're making your next purchase it can actually make sense. You can feel confident what you're getting. Uh, if you don't know Pit Viper is a really awesome sunglass company and honestly more lifestyle company because they do so much rad stuff for the community which is why I highly recommend you guys check out the Pit Viper Gives a F program. I'll put the Instagram right here and we'll put it in the description as well. Uh, it's a really awesome program where Pit Viper is giving back to the community and they're doing it through a bunch of really rad campaigns. Pit Viper is filled with really awesome people. Everyone at the company is just a genuinely kind human being and they're all doing really rad things and they just so happen to make really awesome sunglasses. And as you guys can tell, things have changed a ton. I will also say if you do want to save 15% off your next order with Pit Viper, we'll put our link in the description of this video and that does also help support the channel a ton so huge thank you for that but once again we just want to make sure that you guys have the knowledge to make the right purchase and also be super stoked on your next pair of glasses so let's get into it so right off the back as you guys can tell these definitely aren't your traditional pit vipers they have been kind of changing things up as of recently I would say the most noticeable change was when these first released these are actually called the pit viper flight optics and as you guys can tell I mean this is a very subtle style of glass so this was probably the first kind of I would say alert that Pit Viper was going to be mixing things up a little bit adding some spice to their lineup they still have the classic Pit Viper logo glasses that we'll show you in a little bit but once again these are the flight optics in the black and these things look so freaking clean you put these on I mean one of the cleaner pair of sunglasses I own and yeah these are really awesome if you're trying to keep things super casual you don't want anything loud really like the flight optics they also also come in some louder colors I actually like the louder colors you guys know me I'm pretty loud and that's why I'm also wearing their new high-speed off-road this is actually the uh, jacket or the windbreaker uh, but they have a full line of mountain bike apparel that just dropped the new HSOR 3 we were actually part of that campaign so you might see some of our photos on their website but it's a really cool I would say pink yellow neon retro style design for this campaign really impressed with how this turned out the mountain bike apparel you guys is amazing so if you guys are into cycling or you just want some fitness gear or you just want to look cool like this highly recommend checking out some of this apparel but all the links to everything I talk about will be in the description so yeah the flight optics came out and then they dropped these things these are the brand new try hearts and as you guys can see they have a pretty wide lens on there they take up a lot of my face so a lot of facial coverage they actually come in this really cool box so once again a lot of changes this box is one of them so we got this big box right here and as you open this thing up as you look in there oh I actually wasn't supposed to show you guys that one just yet uh, this is the the actual box that I want to show you oh I wasn't supposed to show you that one I'll, I'll probably show you that one later on where is the box I was supposed to show you so this was one of the first changes as you open this thing up as you guys can tell you'll see a pair of sunglasses in there as well as a lens that is another new thing so now these tryhards and this is supposed to be a little bit more of an athletic style pair of glasses or a casual but you will be getting two pairs of lenses with these things you'll be getting a darker lens that is on here as you guys can tell right there as well as a more trail style lens now adjustability is going to be crazy on these because once again not only do you have two lenses on here as you can tell this has the bottom of the frame attached to it and this does not but it has a nose piece which means you can actually not only interchange the lenses, but you can also change whether you run them full frame or half shell. That's the two differences here besides trail lens and darker style lens. I like the darker and the trail lens because I'm a mountain biker, but I'm also a road cyclist on the road. I want the darker on the trail. I want the lighter, which is nice actually having two lenses. This is the son of a beach, uh, I believe colorway. I uh, really like how this came out so much so that I got a bike custom painted in this color, which is really awesome. Yeah, so the adjustability right there, you can swap between these two lenses. You can swap full frame and half shell. Another adjustability is actually in the nose peach, which is super rad. So the nose peach that actually turns like that. So you can get the perfect fit on your nose. So uh, if you do have a weird shaped nose, these should fit perfectly on there. Another adjustability is actually these ear pieces. So I'm gonna move like that. Also, if you're wondering what room this is, we're in Japan currently, completely random, but we're here. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the ear piece is actually malleable so you can actually bend that 
and it'll contour to however your facial structure is or if you want to kind of make them a little bit tighter or yeah whatever you want to do with the earpiece you can actually do to it now to change the lenses super simple so these actually just pop off like that so you took off the bottom half and say I don't want to run them I want to run the trail lens but I want to run it in the half shell so pretty simple I'm actually just going to pop this lens out like so taking the lens putting it down somewhere safely and then I'm going to take the trail lens and then all you're going to do is they have these corners I'm going to try and get out of the way so you can actually see this corner is like a little it's like a lego piece essentially and it just kind of fits in there perfectly inside in and then we're going to do the same thing to the other side you guys probably want to see this I wish I had like another camera I could show you we're gonna pop in the nose it's just like that everything's kind of popped into place and I actually have the nose piece already on there so it went straight to half shell mode so as you can tell a little bit of a lower profile lens now because you don't have that full frame down here so it's not too much lighter but at the same time I can see if I wanted something that vented a little bit more so running it in the half shell me personally I really like the full frame right here I don't know I just like the full frame setup I like to have the color down there but if you do want something a little bit more ventilated just like this the half shell is an awesome mode and once again so many adjustments here son of a beach colorway and then you also have these which I believe are the Coco Cabana I'm gonna get the real name right now these are actually called the Bonafire Breeze so a really cool kind of mint purple retro look really like this really like this now say you really like that black that was in these flight optics they also have the standard which is just kind of the solid black color in the tryhards as well as well as the basketball teams which is like a red white and blue we'll put pictures here of all of them now say you like that son of a beach colorway but you want classic pit vipers and that's gonna be these right here. These are the Pit Viper 2000s in the Son of a Beach colorway. And as you can tell, standard Pit Viper, this is what Pit Viper was kind of known for, just the Pit Viper actually on the lens. You can tell they're Pit Vipers, you're in the club. And the 2000s also have like this more kind of sporty style feel on my face. They don't take up as much of my facial room. Now, for some of you original lovers, there's actually people who prefer the originals. If you didn't know the difference between the originals and the 2000s, you save a little bit of money however I feel like it's too completely it's not necessarily like a low quality and top quality it's more so different fit so these are the originals in this super cool new colorway what I really like about the originals is that they have a more lighter style feel on the face so these are the 2000s right here we'll put them right that and then here are the originals a little bit of a wider lens on these this is kind of also a classic pit viper look you got the pit viper on the lens this has a more of a sportier style feel however when I'm lounging at the beach I kind of like the originals because once again they have that light feeling on the face they don't feel like as compressive as the 2000s these definitely have a little bit more of a sporty feel now not as new as the tryhards but still new you have these so I put these on you're like oh well no those are probably just standard pit vipers boom all of a sudden I got the flip ups on here. But as you guys can tell, maximum facial coverage. Uh, the lens on these are actually bigger than the 2000s, I feel like. So I feel like you get a little bit more facial coverage. And then once again, that is something you get used to. And then when you rock a pair that doesn't have the flip up feature, you're like, oh man, I really wish I had the flip up feature. And yeah, once again, you got this super cool new retro colorway on here. Apparently it's Copa Cabanas. I've been calling them the Coco Cabanas, which I feel like is a more appropriate name. But yeah, Copa cabanas however you're gonna call them once again up down up down say you like that colorway and say you like the flip up option however you want something a little bit more casual this is where the lift offs come into play this is definitely a little bit more of a casual style frame on here so a little bit of a rounder profile and then once again you guys you do have that option and yeah just super cool to be able to flip them up flip them flip them up now another fan favorite this year has been these these are the admirers and I'm gonna take these out of the box We actually brought this colorway specifically because we want to do a photo shoot out here in Tokyo And if you guys look at this pair look how awesome this is you guys I mean this just screams love love is in the air love is everywhere and yeah it, These are basically just hard style glasses and you know honestly I wasn't sure what to think of this when I saw the photos and then I got them and then I put them on and I'm like, you know what? I absolutely love this. We've actually been rocking them in this. This is actually the standard. This is the one that I've been rocking just kind of day to day. They're the standard, so black, kind of classy, but at the same time you got the heart, so it kind of warms people's hearts on there. And you're gonna make friends wearing these pair of glasses 
And one last new design, I mean, Pit Viper really has been changed in the game this year. They've released so many new models and just when you thought they couldn't release any more, they released these as well. These are called the Fondues. First off, you have a little bit of a smaller style frame. So I feel like this makes me feel fashionable. So as soon as I put these on, this is like that fashionista's pair of glasses. What gets interesting is you have the side eye protection, which I've been told is for skiers and snowboarders for that sun protection from the side. However, me personally, I'm not a skier or a snowboarder. The coolest thing about this is, I mean, number one, it folds down and out of the way. So you can kind of store these super easily. But at the same time, if you're like me, you don't necessarily need the sun protection or there's days that you don't want it. It actually pops out super easily. So these just kind of unclip. I actually pop them both off and why I like to do that is because as soon as I fold them now look how small I mean these things are so small that I can literally just kind of shove these in my pocket or just shove them in a side pocket if there is a question to any of these models or anything on the website let us know in the comment section we'll be sure to help you guys out we'll leave a link to our coupon in the description of this video it also helps support the channel a ton so huge thank you to that and also follow the pit viper gives a f instagram page because they're doing some really awesome things there and they're also taking suggestions as well so if you have a cool campaign that you want to run by them feel free to shoot the message Once again you guys thank you so much for liking this video if you guys can hit that like button and then send this video to someone who you want to buy you a pair of pit vipers or you feel like needs pit vipers in their life that also helps out a ton and uh, until next time you guys we're gonna keep enjoying japan i think we're here for a few more weeks and then we head to a few other countries in asia hopefully you found this video informative until next time you guys read awesome you